Finals, also known as power amplifiers, play a crucial role in a ham radio transceiver. They are responsible for amplifying the weak signals received by the receiver and for transmitting the signals generated by the transmitter. There are two main types of finals used in ham radio transceivers, tube finals and transistor finals. Tube finals use vacuum tubes to amplify the signal and have been a traditional choice for many years. They are known for their high power output and good linearity, which results in low distortion of the transmitted signal. They are also relatively immune to damage from overdriving or overloading and can handle high power levels with ease. On the other hand, transistor finals use semiconductor devices such as BJTs or MOSFETs to amplify the signal. They are smaller, lighter, and more durable than tube finals. They also consume less power and are more efficient. They are also more affordable and widely available than tube finals. When it comes to the actual operation of the finals, the process is different depending on the type of finals used. Tube finals. The vacuum tube used in tube finals is known as a Class A power amplifier. When the input signal is applied to the tube, it causes the electrons in the tube to flow which generates an output signal that is amplified. The amplified signal is then sent to the antenna to be transmitted. Transistor finals. Transistor finals use the principle of the bipolar junction transistor, BJT, or the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET. The BJT is a three-layer semiconductor device that consists of two PN junctions. The base emitter junction is forward biased and the collection base junction is reversed biased. When the input signal is applied to the base of the transistor, it causes electrons to flow through the base emitter junction, which generates an amplified output signal at the collector. The MOSFET is a high voltage controlled device that works on the principle of channel resistance between the source and the drain terminals. The input signal applied to the gate terminal controls the channel resistance, which in turn controls the flow of the current through the device. Before the signal reaches the finals, it first goes through the exciter. The exciter is the part of the radio that generates the signal that is sent to the finals to be amplified. The exciter generates a low-powered signal, which is then amplified by the finals. The exciter is typically a separate module or circuit board within the transceiver, or it may be integrated into the main circuit board. However, regardless of the type of finals used, there are several factors that can cause them to go bad. 1. Overheating. The finals in a transceiver generate a significant amount of heat. And if the cooling system is not functioning properly or is inadequate, the finals can overheat and become damaged. The heat can cause the internal components to expand and contract, leading to mechanical failure or even a fire hazard. 2. Overdriving. If the finals are driven with too much power, they can be damaged or destroyed. This can happen if the drive level is set too high or if the signal is too strong such as in the case of a nearby strong signal. Overdriving can cause the semiconductor junctions to break down, leading to device failure. 3. Power supply issues. The finals in a transceiver require a stable and reliable power supply to function properly. If the power supply is not functioning properly, or if the voltage is too high or too low, the finals can be damaged. This can cause the devices to function outside their specified operating conditions, leading to a device failure. Number four, age. Over time, the components in the finals can degrade and become less efficient, eventually leading to failure. 
The internal components of the finals can degrade due to exposure to heat, humidity, and vibration. Number five, environmental factors. The finals can be damaged by exposure to excessive humidity, dust, or other environmental factors. Excessive dust or humidity can cause a short circuit, which can lead to device failure. Number six, mechanical failure. The finals can be damaged by vibration, poor installation, or due to a malfunctioning mechanical part in the equipment. To ensure that the finals in a transceiver are operating at their best, it is important to keep the transceiver in a safe environment and to properly maintain it, including regular cleaning. In the case of a failure, it is best to consult a qualified technician to diagnose the problem and perform the necessary repairs.